Welcome to pre math. In this video, we have got this uh, square A, B, C, D with a side length uh, four units, as you can see in this uh, diagram. And moreover, we got this uh, line segment uh, A, E such that uh, this uh, length uh, D, E is uh, three units, and this uh, circle is uh, confined in between them, where these points F, G, and uh, h are the points of tangency and now our task is to calculate the radius of this circle please don't forget to give a thumbs up and subscribe please keep in mind that this figure may not be 100 percent true to the scale let's go ahead and get started and here's our very first step since we are dealing with this square a b c d this whole side length is four units and this side length uh, is uh, 3 so therefore uh, this side length uh, EC is going to be 1 and likewise uh, all uh, these uh, side lengths are uh, 4 units uh, each and here's our next step I have extended uh, this uh, line uh, AE all the way to this uh, point uh, P and likewise I have extended this uh, other line BC as well all the way to point P such that uh, we got this uh, right uh, triangle uh, PCE now let's assume that this uh, side length uh, PC is uh, X uh, units and now we are going to find the value of this uh, X and here's our next step let's focus on this uh, bigger uh, right triangle uh, PBA this uh, this uh, whole uh, side length uh, is going to be x uh, plus 4 so I can write uh, x uh, plus 4 over here and this uh, side length uh, is uh, 4 and this uh, tiny right triangle as well PCE whose uh, side lengths uh, are x uh, and 1 now we can see that these are uh, two right triangles uh, PCE and this uh, big right triangle uh, PBA are uh, similar triangles according to angle angle uh, similarity theorem since uh, these angles are uh, right angles and uh, this angle is in common between them so therefore we are going to have a proportion that means uh, the ratio of uh, these uh, two sides uh, is going to be equal to the ratio of uh, these two sides uh, as well so therefore I can write uh, x uh, divided by 1 equal to x plus 4 divided by 4 now let's go ahead and cross uh, multiply so therefore we are going to have a 4x equal to x plus 4 let's go ahead and subtract uh, x from both sides this is gone so we ended up with the 3x equals to 4 now let's go ahead and divide both sides by 3 so this is uh, gone so therefore our x value turns out to be 4 divided by 3 so therefore our this uh, x value turns out to be 4 divided by 3 and this uh, whole uh, side uh, length is going to be x plus 4 is going to become uh, 4 divided by 3 plus uh, 4 and if we add uh, these uh, numbers that is going to give us uh, 16 uh, divided by 3 as you can see I have added uh, this fraction with 4 and it gave us uh, 16 divided by 3 and here's our next step let's focus on this uh, bigger right triangle PBA whose uh, side lengths are 16 divided by 3 4 and now we are going to figure out its uh, hypotenuse PA so therefore we are going to use the Pythagorean uh, theorem and here's our Pythagorean theorem a square plus b square equal to c square let me call this uh, longest uh, leg uh, as our side c I'm gonna call uh, this side uh, lowercase a and this uh, lowercase b let's go ahead and fill in the blanks in this uh, Pythagorean formula a in our case is 16 divided by 3 whole uh, square plus uh, b in our case is uh, 4 square equal to c square let's go ahead and simplify so this is going to give us 256 uh, divided by 9 plus 4 square is 16 equal to c square and here in this uh, next step I have uh, multiplied top and bottom by 9 to make the same 
common denominator as 9 and if we add and simplify we got uh, c square equal to 400 divided by 9. Now let's go ahead and undo this uh, square by taking a square root uh, on both uh, sides and now we can see this uh, square and square root they undo each other so therefore our c value is going to become square root of 400 is 20 and the square root of uh, 9 at the denominator is uh, 3 so this is going to become 20 divided by 3 so therefore our this uh, side length uh, p a turns out to be 20 divided by 3 and here in this uh, next step i have connected uh, this center o with these uh, points of tangency f g and h and as a result we got uh, this uh, radii as you can see over here let me label this radius as lowercase r this is going to be lowercase r and this is going to be lowercase r as well and now let's recall the circle theorem according to this theorem the angle between the radius and the tangent will always be 90 degrees so no wonder all these angles are going to be 90 degrees each since these are our radii and these are our tangent lines and now let's focus uh, on this uh, square h b g o if this side length is lowercase r then this side length is going to be lowercase r as well and likewise this is lowercase r so therefore this is going to be lowercase r as well and now let's make an observation on this side we know that this whole side length is 4 this side length is lowercase r so therefore uh, this side length uh, a g is going to be 4 minus r and now let's focus on this uh, side length uh, this whole uh, side length is uh, 16 divided by 3 and uh, this uh, side length is uh, lowercase r so therefore uh, this segment uh, p h is going to be 16 divided by 3 minus uh, r and now let's recall the two tangent uh, theorem according to this theorem if two tangent segments are drawn to one circle from the same external point uh, then they are uh, congruent you can see in our uh, diagram this uh, tangent uh, is going to be congruent to this uh, tangent so that means they are uh, equal in length uh, if this side length is 16 divided by 3 minus r then uh, this side length is going to be 16 divided by 3 minus uh, r and likewise uh, this tangent uh, a g is going to be congruent to this uh, tangent uh, a f if this uh, is 4 minus r then this uh, tangent is going to be 4 minus r as well and here's our final step let's make an observation we can see that this uh, segment uh, pf uh, is uh, 16 divided by 3 minus r and this uh, segment uh, f uh, a is uh, 4 uh, minus r and we also know that this uh, whole uh, side length uh, p a is uh, 20 divided by 3 so therefore uh, this uh, is going to be equal to the sum of uh, these two individual lengths so therefore i can write uh, 16 divided by 3 minus uh, r and then plus uh, 4 minus r must be equal to 20 divided by 3 and now let's go ahead and uh, focus on these uh, two numbers 16 divided by 3 and then plus uh, 4 and if we add uh, these two numbers uh, we can get uh, 28 uh, divided by 3 so therefore these two numbers are uh, added up to 28 uh, divided by 3 and then negative r and negative r is going to give us a negative 2r equals to 20 divided by 3 now let me go ahead and move this uh, negative 2r on the right hand side and at the same time i'm going to move this uh, 20 divided by 3 on the left hand side as you can see in this uh, next uh, step and if we simplify the left hand side it turns out to be 8 divided by 3 equals to 2r now let's go ahead and uh, multiply both sides by 1 uh, divided by 2 to isolate uh, this uh, r so therefore our radius r turns out to be if we simplify the left hand side that is going to give us uh, 4 divided by 3 
So thus the radius of this uh, circle turns out to be 4 divided by 3 units. Thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos. Bye.